and tally ho there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show today i'll be doing my nine month review of the dell xps 15. i'm going to talk about whether you should buy this now or you should wait three or so months until the new dell xps 15 comes out which i will call the 217 dell xps 15 and then we're going to talk about what we think is going to be actually in the dell xps 15 217 model and again whether it's worth waiting or buying this beast now so if you want to know anything about the dell xps 15 you have come to the right place i have over 20 videos on this dell xps 15 i've got a playlist i'll link it in the description i'll put a card up here gaming reviews multiple reviews upgrading the ssd upgrading the ram anything you want to know on a dell xps 15 check out my playlist and if you want to know more about it in the future and future dell xps 15 make sure you subscribe so this is my nine month review of this and i'll briefly go over why i still love it but then we'll get on to the question of whether you should buy it now or wait for the new one so nine months on this is still held up well it's still a beast I still love it. It still gives me absolute pleasure. Every time I open the lid and I see that gorgeous 4K screen, I still get a buzz out of it. I still use it daily. It's really a thing of beauty. As you can see here, I've put some D-brand stuff on it there. That's gorgeous. I love sitting on the couch and editing my videos. And I can safely say that this can replace your desktop because it actually has replaced my desktop. So there you have it, that's that gorgeous 4K screen I'm talking about. It's really one of the things that drawn me to this, along with its powerhouse performance. Just go through some of the things I don't like about it first, I guess. Fingerprint magnet, this has been well documented. This does get fingerprints on this carbon fiber. 50-50 water vinegar solution, wipe it off every week. That will solve that problem. And the only other thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have a magnet solution for the power cord. So when you put the power cord in, and I have actually cursed because I've actually stepped on the cord twice and it's actually ripped out of the AC jack there with a bit of force and it's a little bit loose now. The good thing is this is easily upgradable. You can easily replace the AC jack, but I would definitely prefer a magnet solution. Please, Dell, just fix that. I know they probably won't because you know backwards compatibility with devices and peripherals and so on and keeping all the dell products on the same sort of power setup but come on let's get a magnet so they're pretty much my only cons about buying this other than that i'll go through the things i love it's a powerhouse i video edit 1080p content i video edit 4k content all from my couch i love it it can game it's a powerhouse. It can gain the latest titles, 1080p, no problem. So it is a powerhouse. The 4K screen, awesome. Probably the best feature of it, I love it. Even the 1080 screen is gorgeous. Whichever way you go, you're gonna be happy with this screen. And for me, I still get a buzz every time I look at this screen, because quite frankly, this is the best screen I get to have a look at. There's no other screen I look at that looks better than this. The only other screen that I can say compares to this would be on a phone, and that's probably the Galaxy S7. It's the only other screen I've seen compared to this. Pretty much every other laptop, even the MacBooks, they're not as good as this. When you see this 4K screen and you compare it to a MacBook, you're gonna see that this looks better. So it's held up well over nine months. Pretty much no scratches, no dents. There's um, no signs of wear, and I could sell this as new now. It's really held up well, and I use it every day. Another bonus is its size. As you can see here, this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch sleeve and you will see a 15 inch laptop fits inside a 13 inch sleeve, no problem. I'll just grab another laptop. This is what I'll call a normal 15 inch size laptop. It's not gonna fit in here. Actually, this is an Asus gaming 15 inch laptop. I'll be doing a review on this soon, but there's no way that's fitting in there. I know it's a gaming laptop and it's a little bit thick, but even if you look at the length there, or the width, whichever you want to call it, it's not going to fit inside that bag. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see the review of this beast. So again, its size is small and it's light when you consider that this can be used as a gaming laptop or a content creation laptop. There's no other laptop with this sort of bang for buck other than maybe the razor blade that is this small and light yet packs so much power another thing that's good about it is it has good battery life a lot of people say well the 4k screen you only get five six hours well the thing is there's no 15 inch laptop with a 4k screen that gets longer battery life than this 
and if there is please let me know but as far as i know there is no 15 inch laptop that gets five six hours 4k screen so the battery life's good now if you want all day battery life definitely get the 1080p screen and then you'll be getting around 10 hours battery life but for me i get around six hours and i'm happy with that another thing that's good about it is good value it's great value when you compare it to a macbook pro there's no contest here it's a much better machine it's much better value it's easy to upgrade and that's another great thing about it so all in all i think there's nothing 15 inch that compares to this this is still the best 15 inch laptop you can buy at this very particular moment now now I'll just go through some of the known issues. Pretty much every known issue with this has been sorted. So all these flickering screens, some sound issues, USB not detecting, some trackpad issues. They've all been addressed with software updates. So if you get one, make sure you update your BIOS, you update all your software, and you shouldn't be having any of those problems. I did have a sticky, spongy spacebar at one point. It sort of righted itself, but other people have reported keyboard problems and it's not a common fault but but if you're unlucky enough to get a bad keyboard just get onto Dell they're pretty good at sorting things so comparing this to other laptops in its class would I buy this over a MacBook Pro yes 100% I'll buy this over a MacBook Pro it's cheaper it's much better performance better screen it just kills the current MacBook Pro now they're bringing out a new MacBook Pro and then we'll assess things then. But you've got to remember, there's also a new Dell XPS 15, a 217 Dell XPS 15 coming out. So really, you'd be comparing those two. You won't be really comparing this to the new MacBook when that comes out. But I don't expect the new MacBook, especially if they stick with AMD graphics, to be much better than this. When you consider they'll only probably put a KB Lake processor in it, some new graphics from AMD maybe, and KB Lake's not going to be a great advance over Skylake. So really, this will still hold up against the new MacBook Pro. We'll wait and see on that. Another competitor may be the 14-inch razor blade. Well, the thing is, a razor blade's 14-inch, so it's not really in the same sort of class. But if you wanted to compare them, the only difference is the razor blade has a nvidia 970 in it the downside to that is because it's such a small 14 inch laptop and they're pretty small is the 970 actually throttles when you play games so that advantage of having a 970 is somewhat diminished when you consider that it throttles whereas this one i've never had throttling on this at all and in actual fact when i've actually rendered content on this and I've rendered content sometimes for an hour and a half, this will be sitting at three gigahertz, the CPU. So it's actually at its burst speed and it will sit on its burst speed with 100% CPU use all the time. And even on gaming, I've never had throttling. So the razor blade does throttle that 970 difference there in performance may not be that great anyway. Also, this has better battery life than the razor blade. So I'm not really comparing them 15, 14 inch, they're not the same class, but a lot of people ask me that question, so I've addressed it. So, should you buy the Dell XPS 15 now if you're in the market for a 15-inch content creation or even gaming laptop? And the short answer is yes, I would say yes. I mean, even the new MacBook Pro, it'll have KB Lake, yes. Small improvement over Skylake. It's nothing drastic. They are shipping KB Lake processors to OEMs now. So, so KB Lake laptops will be launching in the new future. But if you're talking about the new MacBook Pro, it'll most likely have an AMD graphics card. Now, if you use Premiere, well, you're much better off with an XPS 15 because you're gonna have CUDA cores. Now, if you use Final Cut, obviously you have to buy a Mac anyway, but if you're gonna game and you're gonna use Premiere, you have to go to the XPS 15, it's better value anyway. And the new MacBook Pro, KB Lake, not much difference to the Skylake, small improvements. And having AMD graphics is not the best for Premiere. Now we do not know what's gonna be in the 217 Dell XPS 15, but let's talk about what we know. We know KB Lake are shipping to OEMs now. That's a fact. So I think we can say with confidence it's gonna have a KB Lake processor. On the graphics card side, we don't know whether the 1060s will be ready for launch of the XPS 15. Depends when it comes out. We don't know, we're only speculating at the moment. Nvidia just sort of just dropped things out of nowhere and this is what they've been doing this year at least. So we have no idea. 
if it has a 1060 obviously that's a big upgrade to a 960 so if you really need that graphics performance maybe you might want to wait until the new xps 15 comes out and see what's in it but generally speaking the 217 dell xps 15 will, i think will definitely be exactly the same as this it'll have the same finish the same 4k screen they won't change the design at all if you look at the xps 13 they kept the same design, same screen, and they updated the internals. I think that's what's gonna happen with the new XPS 15. It's gonna have everything the same. It would be great if they could find a more power efficient 4K screen and fit bigger battery in. That would be awesome if they all done that. But on the most part, I expect it to be pretty much the same, maybe with a KB Lake dropped in. And if the 1060s are ready, then they'll definitely be changing the motherboard. If the Dell XPS 15 217 is released before the 1060s come out, they could probably keep the same motherboard with maybe some minor modifications. They should be able to fit a Kaby Lake in here. So in that sense, they would probably just drop in a Kaby Lake and then they could say they'll be done. And that may be all the 217 Dell XPS 15 gets. Even if the new Dell XPS 15 come out, I would definitely still buy this one because it will be better value and you're not getting that much with just the Kaby Lake. But if they put a 1060 in it, well, that's a significant upgrade and it will be definitely worth upgrading. So... I guess we're all speculating here. We don't know what's gonna be in it. It'll be nice to know when Nvidia are gonna drop their 1060s and 1070s and so on. And in actual fact, with the 1060s and 1070s, they should be more power efficient and run cooler. So you'd probably be able to fit a 1070 in this design. The thing is, they most likely don't give you the option of a 970 in this because it'll probably be too hot in such a small computer. And you see that with the Razer Blade 14, the 970 throttles in it. And that may be the case in this computer too. If they put it in here, a 970, it may throttle. But the 1070 may be cooler, use less power, and they might be able to fit a 1070 in here. Talking about my wish list for the 217 Dell XPS 15, I would love obviously them to wait until the 1060s or 1070s come out. That'd be great if they can put that in it. If they could find a more power efficient 4K screen that's the same quality, I'll be really happy with that. And if they could just shoehorn in some more battery, that'd be awesome because five, six hours with a 4K screen is great. But imagine seven or eight hours, you know, that'll be awesome. And then if you put a 1080 screen, imagine you're getting 12 hours. Like, it'll be great if they could just shoehorn in some more battery there. And if it did get updated with a 1060 and KB Lake processors, they'll be using a new motherboard. If they could add another M.2 slot, that would just be perfection. Now, in reality... I don't think any of those things will happen. I would also like to see another Thunderbolt 3 port. It would be great if it could have two, because I definitely think the MacBook Pro, the new one, will definitely have multiple Thunderbolt 3 ports. That's where the Macs are good. They usually give you lots of Thunderbolt ports. So if the Dell XPS 15 could have two Thunderbolt 3 ports, that'll be awesome. But that's my wish list. Let me know in the comments what you would love in the new Dell XPS 15, what you'd love to see in it. And also in the comments there, let me know, do you know, have you heard any rumors about what's gonna be in the new Dell XPS 15? All in all, I would say, if you need a computer now, just get it, just get the Dell XPS 15. All right, you may be a little bit pissed if the 1060s come in the new XPS 15, but it's, at least three months away i'd say at least and if you need a computer now this is going to serve you for many years to come as i said i game on it i video it at 1080 4k content as well it's got more than enough power to serve you for many years to come that being said you would be a little bit pissed if a 1060 come out on the new xps 15 but we're all speculating here i guess you can only make that decision whether you want to wait or not but I think this is a solid buy and it'll be good for years. So anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments there. Really like to thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up there. I've got lots more tech content coming soon, so please subscribe. And until next time, guys, top of the morning to you there, laddies. Tally ho. <laughs>